So now I'm going to plant this uh, uh, desert gold peach. I put this compost in here last night and wet it down so I could keep the roots because it's a bare root tree moist. So I'm going to pull the tree out right now. If you're not going to plant a tree right away, you really want to put it in some soil and let it sit there. So I'm going to move this soil out of the way here. And I'm going to make sure this hole is deep enough. <clears throat> Now always remember to put the graft on the east side. This is west, this is east, just so it's shaded from the west sun uh, because you just want to protect it. So yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to go not too much deeper. There it is. I'm gonna throw some soil underneath it and around it. Pull these Bermuda grass shoots. And it's gonna need a little bit more. This is what we mixed up a little earlier today for the mulberry tree. To get these big balls of Bermuda grass out of the soil around it and also level the soil a little bit so I can get a good berm. Get the big major networks out of there. Bermuda grass is kind of like an internet too. It's got fiber optics in some places man this stuff fast growing gets very strong in desert soil as long as it has sunlight. I'm actually going to be putting a layer of cardboard down on the whole yard and then wood chips to try to block out some of the Bermuda. Looks pretty clean. leave it soaking now for 30 minutes just to kind of fill up that bed so there it is desert gold peach in the ground so we got mulberry desert gold peach and uh, almond in the ground oh, we're gonna go put the figs in the ground right now This is a big concrete mixing tub from Home Depot. You know, I think it's uh, about 20 bucks, but it's super useful. All right, I think we're ready. So let's look at this one here. Actually, we're right at the right hole depth for this one. So I'm gonna pull this one out of the pot and uh, we're gonna start making it happen.
make sure that the graft is facing east. I'm just gonna get these planted and I'll do the berms all at once. This guy's in. I need to make sure I keep track of what these plants are. So I need to make a little list. Cause these are all figs, but they're different varieties. And I wanna know. So this one is a white Genoa fig. This little guy is a Janus seedless. So I have it a little bit deep right now, so I'm gonna bring the soil level up to about there before I plant it. Look at these roots. This is the urban farm fig tree from Dave Wilson Nursery. Yeah, those are vital. This is gonna be great. So again, graft faces east. down. Another batch. This one is the Panache Tiger Fig. I'll leave the leaves in the tree well they'll degrade and it'll be good for the tree. This one is a black mission fig. I'm gonna try a square berm, just a berm, parallel berm here, instead of doing individual berms for each tree. See how that works.
right, well there she is. I got uh, all five fig trees planted. I'm gonna let this water run for a little bit. Just remember, do what you love to do. Find your passion, live your dreams. When you're super busy and you're, and, and you're exhausted from working very hard, but it's working on your passion, it, you can keep doing it every day. So I just encourage you, find something that you love and do it. That's what I do. And the coolest way to do that is to develop awesome skills. Because if you have cool skills, you can do anything. Anything you want. Blank, blank canvas. I know I'm not that articulate, but I've been working all day. I hope you guys are doing great, and I hope you're getting ready to start planting some fruit trees for this year because it's the right time. It's the perfect time of the year to do that right now. So a couple places you can get stuff from is Seamus O'Leary's Tropical Fruit Trees. Um, you can also go to urbanfarm.org, Greg Peterson's nursery. Uh, Jake Mace has a lot of good seeds, the vegan athlete. And uh, John Kohler also on YouTube has a lot of uh, seeds and, and really good stuff. He also has a couple of shops online that you could buy, uh, I believe juicers and such. So um, check out John Kohler too. Those are all the guys I watch and uh, they've taught me a lot just by watching their videos. So thanks guys, thumbs up and um, keep doing what you're doing. Stonehaven is yet to come.